Hello, welcome to Fish and Forage and Outdoor Adventure. Today I've been uh, at this, uh, my local beach, which is uh, Talacra Beach here on uh, right at the mouth of the River Dee Estuary. Um, I've been doing some smooth hound fishing, uh, me and my friend Mike. Uh, we've had uh, 11 smooth hounds between the two of us. Uh, while I've been stood here at the low water mark, uh, I found myself uh, a few whelks. So, anybody who's seen whelks before? They're these. Uh, like conical shaped uh, sea snails, um, quite big in size, there's quite a lot of meat inside these, I've got three of them, uh, so they're pretty much just sticking out the sand uh, with this, uh, uh, like the, the paddle door, face down uh, in, into uh, the sand. And whatever you do, don't get these mixed up, so uh, this is a hermit crab, I uh, found this on the same beach, and uh, what they do, the crabs that haven't got a main body of a shell, they actually use the shell of the whelk uh, to go inside and use that as their home. So um, similar in appearance but uh, very much uh, a diff totally different creature, a totally different animal. So I've picked three out, I'm going to take three home. Nothing uh, fancy with them, I'm just going to uh, try eating them, see what they're like. Never tried them before so um, it'll be a bit, of a bit of an experiment. Cook them up, see what they're like and uh, maybe you can try it yourself. So these, I'll be taking them back to the kitchen and rustling them up. Okay, so I'm back at home. I'm going to uh, cook these up outside in the garden. So uh, these are the whelks that I've got. Nice big, uh, plenty of meat in there. And you can see from this, still alive. But uh, this is how you cook them up. So I've got three of these, just enough for me to try them, see what they're like. Uh, and I'll uh, experiment with uh, different things so I can cook with them uh, in the future. Uh, this is just a pan of uh, simple boiling water with a little bit of seasoning in it. Okay, so these whelks uh, are very much like uh, a periwinkle, just a bigger version of them. So uh, they're these conical shaped um, shellfish, all the muscles inside, and they have this little um, flap uh, on the outside, it's like a hard piece of shell. Um, and, and that's the only part of this shellfish that's not edible. So uh, what we do with these three, you can see they're, they're very much alive still. Uh, and it's not like a, a lobster or a crab that you can dispatch. You know, I can't really dispatch it, so as cruel as it is, these are going in as they are. One, two, three. And uh, with them now, uh, I'm gonna leave them for 10 to 12 minutes uh, and they're gonna cook all the way through. Uh, as I've already said, I've not tried these before, so um, I've not got a specific sauce in mind uh, to, to have with these, but I do want something just to dip them in. So uh, I'm going to make what, uh, a bit of a generic uh, sauce, which I use with quite a lot of fish. It goes well with like pollock uh, and stuff like that. Uh, I've not really tried it with shellfish, but there's no reason it won't work. So uh, equal uh, parts of mayonnaise first with honey. Mayonnaise. Okay. And all I do is put a small little bit of this Dijon mustard in. Probably about half a teaspoon's worth for this would be fine. A few capers. Uh, some of you might think, oh, capers are disgusting, I'm not, I'm not putting them in. But they really make the difference uh, in a nice sauce. So about seven or eight of them. And then my little herb garden, I've got some coriander, parsley, basil or mint. I think I'm going to go for the parsley. Okay, so I'll get this now. There they are. It's a little pestle of mortar. And then give it a bit of a, a mash up. Really smell these come along. It smells nice. I think a little bit more mayonnaise to go with it. 
have no specific uh, mixes or ratios, just however you like it. The honey really uh, gives a really nice sweetness to it. The mustard gives it a nice bit of heat. The herbs and the capers obviously just uh, really add to the, the flavour of it. <laughs> That's 12 minutes up, so I'm going to switch this off now. There they are. All I'm going to do, I'm going to pull off that little bit of um, the, what I call like a, a foot. And then you put this inside. You have to kind of like twist them out. So I think I've already said that the entire thing of this is edible. You just need to coax it out without snapping it off. Pull too hard and it will snap. There you go. One. There you go. Empty shell. Pot off. There you go. Some coming out. Two. There you go. You can see the whole thing's in like a, a spiral type of shape for that. Also what I'm going to do now, just to make sure that uh, all the grit and sand uh, is off these, you see there's a little bit on there. I'm just going to go and give these little rinse under um, a jug of hot water. Okay, so uh, there's there's the three um, whelks all cooked up, ready. There's the biggest one there. Uh, three of these was never going to make a full meal, but uh, certainly enough to um, a nice little snack starter and just try and see what they're like here goes nothing yeah okay um quite rubbery quite flavorless but pleasant enough um there's no Massive taste to them. It's quite. Is it okay? Um, a little bit like um, eating octopus or something like that. You know, it's got that fleshy, chewy texture, but not an offensive taste. Um, generally, pleasant enough. It's okay. I would say they're quite rubbery but the star of the show I think is my sauce <laughs> really tastes the, the honey in it really nice a little bit of a, a kick off the uh, mustard and the herbs in it go really nice but what I will say is it's free it's off the beach it's hand gathered ethically sourced um, and that's that's the very philosophy of my channel it's all about free wild food getting out there doing a bit and um, getting some nice meals out of it okay third and last one all right did you want to try one what? did you want to try one Okay, so the verdict, it's okay, uh, it's it's palatable, It's uh, there's not a lot of uh, taste to them, but um, it's not an offensive taste, it's not really anything. It's a bit like eating octopus, that's the best way I can describe it. If you've never had octopus, then calamari I suppose, uh, without the uh, batter on. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my video, uh, eating whelks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.